This is Mark Twain, one of the greatest writers in the world from more than 100 years ago. Wouldn't it be cool if we can go back in time and meet with him in 3D? Bob Shaw, in his book Light of Other Days, introduced a very cool concept called the slow glass. So imagine a piece of glass that's so thick and dense, and even light would take more than 100 years to pass. So what will happen? It can serve as a window to the past, and through it, we can see Mark Twain right in front of us in 3D. To do that, first, we need to understand the 3D of the scene. Luckily, stereo cards existed more than 100 years ago, capturing a wide variety of historical people and events. Many of them are even available online. Keystone Mass Collection is one of them, serving more than 40K stereographs. We crawl them down and compute disparity maps from them. But disparity from only the capture viewpoint is not good enough when switched to a novel viewpoint. There will be holes in the discluding regions, so we want to impaint that. To generate training data, we simulate disclusion holes by double reprojection, where we reproject a given grayscale image and depth pair into another viewpoint and reproject them back. In this way, we can generate such sample pairs using the original one as the ground truth. We also introduce boundary guidance to encourage sharp depth boundary and impainting from the background side. With that, we are able to impaint depth and intensity by fusing information from the background. Thus, we can synthesize grayscale images and depth at the four corners of a desired hat box. And finally, simulate slow glass experience peeking into a large variety of historical scenes.